Welcome to another T10 Top 10 list. Today, the top 10 deadliest spiders in the world. Number 10, the Huntsman Spider. Huntsman spiders belong to the Sparacida family and are also known as giant crab spiders due to their large size and appearance that resemble a crab. They are native to Australia and Southeast Asia, but have been introduced into other parts of the world, including the United States. Huntsman spiders are known for their speed and ability to run across smooth surfaces and scare the living hell out of everyone. These spiders are considered non-aggressive and are not dangerous to humans, but they can deliver a painful bite if provoked. Huntsman spiders have long legs, which they use to grasp their prey. They are known to feed on insects, small reptiles, and even small mammals. Unlike other spiders that spin webs, huntsman spiders are hunters and do not make webs to catch their prey. The female huntsman spider is larger than the male and can lay hundreds of eggs at a time. Huntsman spiders are considered beneficial to humans because they help control populations of insects and other pests. Despite their large size, huntsman spiders are great at hiding and can be found in cracks and crevices and under bark and rocks. Despite their large size, huntsman spiders are great at hiding and can be found in cracks, crevices, and under bark or rocks. Huntsman spiders have a unique defensive mechanism where they drop from a surface and curl into a ball to protect their legs and underbelly when threatened. The huntsman spider is a venomous spider. Its venom can cause severe muscle pain and weakness, increased blood pressure, and death in some. Luckily, I'm a super AI robot because I wouldn't want this thing crawling into my hard drive. Number nine, trapdoor spider, a close relative of the tarantula. These spiders are named after their clever strategy to trick their prey. They hide at the entrance of their burrows to lure their prey into their false sense of security of their lair. Found throughout the country of Australia, the trapdoor spider has mostly harmless bites with minor symptoms. The males are known to bite more than females. Spiders usually live for only a few short years, but these spiders can live up to 20. These spiders are not that venomous, but boy, they look scary. The size of these spiders reach up to 2.5 centimeters long on average. Number eight, the redback spider. The redback spider is a species of spider belonging to the Lactrodectus genus, which is known for its distinctive red stripe on its back. These spiders are native to Australia and are commonly found in urban and rural areas. The redback spider is considered dangerous to humans and its bite can cause severe pain, sweating, muscle spasms, and nausea. The female redback spider is larger than the male and can lay hundreds of eggs in a single egg sac. Redback spiders are known for their unique mating behavior, where the male will often offer itself as a meal to the female after mating. That's one heck of a way to pay for dinner. These spiders spin webs and use them to capture their prey, which can include insects, other spiders, and small reptiles. Number seven, the mouse spider. The mouse spider is a species of spider belonging to the Actinopodidae family and is found in Australia. They are named the mouse spider due to their relatively large size and the shape of their burrow, which resembles that of a mouse. The female mouse spider is larger than the male and can reach the lengths up to 35 millimeters. These spiders are known for their burrows, which can be found in the ground and could be up to a meter deep. The mouse spider is a hunter and does not spin webs to catch its prey. Instead, it actively searches for their food, which can include insects, spiders, and small reptiles. The venom of a mouse spider is similar to that of a funnel web spider and can cause serious symptoms, including pain, muscle spasms, and difficulty breathing, if not treated promptly. The mouse spider is not considered to be aggressive towards humans, but will bite if it feels threatened. Mouse spiders are nocturnal and are most active at night, but can sometimes be seen during the day. These spiders are found in a variety of habitats, including forests, woodlands, and desert. Mouse spiders have a unique courtship behavior, where the male will perform a dance to attract a female and then offer her a gift of food, such as an insect, to win her favor. That pretty much sounds like human behavior. Mine is having to meet the parents and deal with your annoying sister-in-law. Number six. The yellow sack spider. The yellow sack spider is a species of spider belonging to the Club Bionidae family. Club Bionidae sounds like a great club in LA, but unfortunately, this club only serves on burning venom. This spider is found throughout the world. They are named yellow sack spiders due to the yellow color of their sack-like webs, which they use for protection and hunting. The yellow sack spider is a small spider, typically growing about eight millimeters in length. The spiders are active hunters and will search for their prey, which can include insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. The yellow sack spider is not considered to be aggressive towards humans, but its bite can cause a mild to moderate pain, itching, and swelling. The yellow sack spider is nocturnal and is most active at night, but can sometimes be seen during the day. These spiders are commonly found in homes and gardens and can be a nuisance to homeowners due to their webs, which can be very messy. The yellow sack spider is not considered to be a medical significant species, but its bite should still be treated as a mild wound and cleaned properly to prevent infection. Number five, the six-eyed sand spider. The six-eyed sand spider is a species of spider belonging to the genus Sacarius, 
and is found in deserts and sandy areas in South America. It gets its name from the six eyes arranged in three pairs on its head, which give it excellent vision and allow it to detect prey and predators from a distance. The six-eyed sand spider is a hunter and does not spin webs to catch its prey. Instead, it uses its quick speed and stealth to ambush insects. These spiders are known for their ability to blend in with the sand, making them nearly invisible and helping them to ambush their prey. The six-eyed sand spider is venomous and its bite can cause severe symptoms, including pain, swelling, and difficulty breathing, if not treated promptly. Despite its venomous bite, the six-eyed sand spider is not considered to be a significant threat to humans as it is not aggressive and typically only bites when it feels threatened. The six-eyed sand spider is a solitary species and does not build webs or live in communities. These spiders are loners. These spiders are not commonly kept as pets, but can be found in zoos and insect collections. The six-eyed sand spider is an important predator in its ecosystem and helps control populations of pests and insects. Number five, the brown recluse spider. Scientific name, Laxocilius recluse is a venomous spider found in the central and southeastern regions of the United States. They are typically light to dark brown in color, with a characteristic dark violin-shaped marking on their back, which gives them the nickname Fiddleback Spider. Brown recluse spiders are relatively small, with adults reaching only about 0.5 to 1 inch, 1.2 to 2.5 centimeters in body length. Brown recluse spiders are not aggressive and will typically only bite if they are disturbed or feel threatened. Their bites can range of symptoms including pain, itching, redness, and blistering. And in some cases, the venom can cause necrosis, death of tissue around the bite area. While fatalities are rare, severe reactions to venom can occur in some cases. Brown recluse spiders are commonly found in dark and quiet places such as a basement, attics, and closets where they build their irregular web. They are primarily active at night and feed on a variety of insects and other spiders. If you suspect that you've been bitten by a brown recluse spider, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Treatment may include cleaning the bite area, pain relief, and in severe cases, surgery to remove the dead tissue. Prevention measures include wearing protective clothing when working in areas where brown recluse spiders are common and taking steps to seal cracks and crevices in the home where spiders might enter. Number four, the brown widow spider, Latrodectus geometricus are a type of widow spider that are typically tan to dark brown in color. They have a distinctive hourglass shaped marking on their abdomen, which is typically orange or yellow in color. The rest of their body is covered in small hairs. Their habitat for the brown widow spiders are found in many parts of the world, including the Southern United States, South America, Africa, and Asia. They prefer warm and dry environments and are often found in urban areas such as garage, sheds, and other man-made structures. Brown widow spiders are carnivorous and primarily feed on insects, including mosquitoes, flies, and beetles. They catch their prey by spinning webs and then waiting for their prey to become entangled. Like other widow spiders, brown widow spiders are venomous. Their venomous contains a neurotoxin that can cause pain, muscle stiffness, and other symptoms in humans. However, their venom is less potent than that of a black widow spider, and bites are rarely fatal. Brown widow spiders are generally shy and non-aggressive, and they will typically only bite if they feel threatened. They are also known to be more active during the daytime than other widow spiders. Female brown widow spiders can lay up to 20 egg sacs during a lifetime, each containing hundreds of eggs. The spiderlings hatch from the eggs after about 20 days. If you have a problem with brown widow spiders, the best way to control them is to remove their hiding places and remove their web. Number three, black widow. The female black widows are shiny black with red orange hourglass patterns on their abdomen. Male black widows are not black, but brown or gray with small red spots. Black widows use a silk-like substance to weave tangled looking webs, typically close to the ground in covered or dark places. Black widows poison can be very deadly. Their deadly poison is said to be 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake's venom. The name black widow comes from the female's habit of eating the male after mating. The female black widow is approximately 1.5 inches, 38 millimeters long. While the Black Widow's poison is rarely fatal in adult humans, it can cause severe pain and nausea. Black Widow can be fatal, usually to small children, the elderly, or other high-risk factors. Number 2. The Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider is a species of spider belonging to the Tenidae family. It is also known as the Banana Spider because it is often found in bunches of bananas. These spiders are native to South and Central America, but have been introduced to other parts of the world through the shipment of bananas. The Brazilian Wandering Spider is one of the most venomous spiders in the world, and its bite can cause severe pain, muscle spasms, difficulty breathing, and even death. Unlike most spiders that spin webs, the Brazilian Wandering Spider is a hunter and actively searches for its prey. The Brazilian Wandering Spider is known for its aggressive behavior and will attack if it feels threatened. These spiders are nocturnal and are usually active at night, but can sometimes be seen during the day. Number one. 
the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is a species of spider belonging to the Atrasidae and is found in southeastern Australia. These spiders are named funnel web due to the funnel shaped webs they build, which they use to trap prey and protect their eggs. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is considered to be one of the most venomous spiders in the world, and its bite can be lethal if not treated promptly. The male Sydney Funnel Web Spider is typically larger and more venomous than the female, and its venom contains potent neurotoxins that can cause paralysis and death. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is not aggressive towards humans but will bite if it feels threatened. It is most commonly found in homes and gardens and is active at night. In response to the danger posed by the Sydney Funnel Web Spider, Antivenom was developed in 1981, which has saved many lives. These spiders are not commonly kept as pets, but can be found in zoos and insect collections. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is an important predator to its ecosystem as well. Despite its reputation as a dangerous spider, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider plays an important role in the ecosystem and should not be eradicated, but rather respected and treated with caution. A little respect goes a long way. That will do it for the top 10 deadliest spiders in the world. Thanks for tuning in to T10 Top 10 Lists. More of this story, stay out of Australia. Good eye, mate.